cars in here. Now, unfortunately, I had to resort to this. I had to resort to fraps because I tried recording this with action, and I'm like, it just be, it's like fast forwarding it again. I'm like, what the hell? I'm getting a little annoyed at this. I'm gonna have to talk with the like support with action and see what the hell's going on. Hopefully, I can figure it out. Let's we'll see what happens. So let's just get this over with. All right. So sorry. Let's do that cut out. So let's read the magazine. Oh, is that a magazine? Oh, it's a newspaper. October 11? Is this Friday? It's October 11th. That's only four days away. Oh. Oh. Newspaper. Oh, shit. I remember. That's a big-ass tornado. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Oh, yeah. It's going to destroy everything. Oh, my God. Come on, Max. What are we going to do? Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh. Oh my god, god you're this right. is real, it's died. real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, so what's going on? Sucks. You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. Yes, you did. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Yes, it will. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years, which is so... No, what? no, I saw it. I hold your I can hand actually I feel the electricity it. in the it air. Was insane. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. I'm crazy, you're not. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... Hardcore. I've always Talk to me, Max. You, girl. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, yeah. I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I love this. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. You don't music. have oh those powers, God. Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. I you need to get hot. Clearly. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the? What's that? It's snowing! Oh my God! What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. That's bogus. How? You can't Climate can't change. Snow, or a storm is coming. Max, oh start from the beginning. This is getting crazy. Tell me everything. All right, I'll tell you, girl. Here's the truth. I've always secretly loved you. I think you're the one for me, and I want to do it with you. And I swear to God, you are the awesome girl. Oh my God! So exciting. I love this story. I love it. The scenery, the music, everything. find out about her in the next episode episode one chrysalis is over i'm gonna do a let's get to my review already okay so let's do it um from one to four in four fields in story in gameplay gameplay meh in gameplay and wait uh gameplay store characters and then overall. So let's do a story. Let me think. Um, this is how you start like a TV series, a movie trilogy, or sequels, or any of that stuff. Or this is how you start a video game. That's how you do it. This is just wow. I love this story already because you know what's coming to get you. Like it's a giant tornado that's gonna destroy the town and everything. You know what's coming. You know you're gonna try and you have these little small side stories. Oh. 
couple more side parts of your story, of the main story, that you can switch around, you can do different things, you have time travel ability, and it, it's just diversity and choices, and that's what we love! You know the tornado is coming, but you're gonna still try and pick off, like, okay, this is what I wanna do, no, let's go back time and let's do this, no, I don't like that, let's just stick with the original story. That's what we love, we love choice and diversity, and the music in each scene sells the mood, and I love that! 9.5 out of 10. It's almost to 10 out of 10. Great job on the story. For the guys who created this game, this team, great job. And I love the, the voice actress for Maxine Caulfield. Hannah Tell, you are awesome. I love you. Just love you. I love all those voice actors, in fact. There was some that were not believable. He's like, you're like, I can overlook it. Great job on this. So let's get the gameplay. This is what Walking Dead should have been like. Season 2, I mean. This is what Walking Dead Season 2 should have done. Back up, go back to Walking Dead Season 1, take elements from that, and just build a great story. That's how you do it. Great job. I, I just love this. I think this is better than Walking Dead at overall. And I'm going to give this on, on those other licensed tracks, so I will. I have been copyrighted about this, but I'm going to fight them. Because, you know, every other gamer is using them, so why does it have to just be me and small other percentage of people? Moving on. Moving on. Um, gameplay, this is what Walking Dead should have been like, and I think it's better. Okay, don't nod, team. Great job on building this game. You guys are geniuses with Square Enix, Square Enix, and I love how you've developed this game. So if you guys are watching this, great job, great job. For the gameplay, I'm giving it 9 out of 10. There were still some bugs, you're like, oh, okay, well, whatever. It's, uh, there are some things I gotta not overlook, but you know what? Because everything else is great, I'll just blow it off. So, characters. I think they did a really good job with the characters. They made them diverse, they made them different, they have their own kind of personality, and you're like, I'm, I like them. This is this is really good. I like this character, I like that character, I hate this character, I hate that character. I don't think you're on my side. I think you're against me. I think you're my friend, but you just don't want to tell me. That's what we kind of want. We just, we love characters that are so different. You don't know who's your friend. You don't know who's on your side. You, you have characters, you, they're built just that you can, they're made, they're done. I don't know how to put this in words. These characters are so good that you just love them. And there are villains or characters that you hate so much, you just, they're, you just have to hate them. Great job on that. I'm giving these characters 10 out of 10. This is the kind of personality I wanted. Like, not where it's stereotypical, not where it's this and that, but, well, there were some stereotypes in there. But, you know, the characters were so different, you could actually see some emotion in them. That's my view opinion. That's my, actually, let me rephrase that 10 out of 10. Let's make it 9 out of 10, sorry. 9 out of 10. There were some things you couldn't overlook. You're like, why does she look dead inside? Uh, and I'm talking about Kate. She looks so depressed and sad, I just can't believe it. I just, I don't think it's believable. Alright, now we're gonna do the overall score. The overall score is... Oh crap, I, I forgot I left that on. Let me, let me destroy that right now. We, I already did the Friends uh, Worldwide thing, and I already know what it is. Okay, S uh, sc overall scale, I'm gonna give it, and I am not gonna round it up this time. I'm gonna give it a 9.3 out of 10. Great job on this episode. This is how you develop a, an episode or, of a TV series, a game series, or any... Or any kind of series at all. This is how you do it. A strong episode. A strong first episode. And it was well done. Loved it. I can't wait for episode two. I'm just super excited. Alright, let's skip it now. Yeah. Alright. Um. And this is where I'm going to have to cut it off, folks. Because I'm going to go back to action. So the camera is going to be switching again. So, like, bear with that. There's nothing I can do about it. And... You can read my decisions if you want, and I'll tell you in the, why I chose each decision in the net in uh, the different clips. So give me a minute, guys. All right, before I actually, uh, I, this is a little bit of a pre. Okay. All right, guys. Before I show you the next clip, next clip, um, I just wanted to give a shout out, and yes, um, not a shout out. I just want to give a little side note that, um, yes, and I am using the act, that there's actually a next, and you should actually take a look at these guys, um, it's a really good decision, I didn't actually think about these, so I'll make them short and quick, because, you know, I gotta, I gotta, you know, just get to the next clip and make it quick, because, you know, 
it will it will have some um it will have some in like it will have some uh in thought like deep thoughts on all the major decisions like these okay so let's do it 50 percent 50 50 on you let daniel draw your portrait portrait i i didn't think it was a big deal i thought it was okay i mean he did a good job for all i care but good job buddy great job uh, you signed Mrs. Miss Grant's petition. Yeah, it was a security reason. I just think I, I said if it was in only if it was only in the hallways and like in the cafeteria, I would have been for that. I would have signed not signed that petition. But she the moment she said in classrooms and in bathrooms, I said that's invasion of privacy. I cannot support that, and I will not. Like I said, and I'm still standing by this, folks. If the Security guy David David if he want if you um, If he wanted to only put cameras in the cafeteria and In the hallways, that's a different story schools have done that and it's worked They don't do it in classrooms or bathrooms because they know that's invasion of privacy So those schools doing that great job. It's a great idea Okay, oh I didn't think this was a, a minor decision or a decision at all, but you helped Alyssa. Okay, Yay! Good job! 84%! I thought it was mean, so... Or you, the guy didn't do it... The guy did it unintentionally, but... It's whatever! Good thing. You erased the insults on Kate Slate. What?! I'm in the minority, but that's a 49... That's a 2% difference? Why did you not erase it? Oh, it's... It's, um... Because it's on her board, and maybe she should erase it. Yeah... What?! That's... That's the grading. Do you know what it said? It said, we'll bang for Jesus. That's, come on, guys. Come on. You should always help. <clears throat> you should always do your friend a favor. And if it's insulting, erase it and just m make a happy sign. That way, you know, like, she still feels better about herself. Unless something bad will happen later in the future. You watered your plant. <laughs> I, I have problems watering my own plants at my family house, so... I went up at my parents' house, so there's, that's a, I, that, I, I'm in the middle of that. Like, yeah, I wa watering plants, but I don't do it intentionally. Okay, you touched Dana's pregnancy. Oh, um, pregnancy test. Well, I thought, yeah, that's a good choice for everybody in the world who played this game. Uh, it was very invasion of privacy. If she opens up to us about it, that's okay, but you're not supposed to do that. It's her... She has to decide, really, um, telling you or not. If she doesn't want to tell you, she doesn't want to tell you. But if she does, she does. Uh, but, yeah, I made the right decision. I, I, I respect her request to be, you know, keep it hush-hush. You reorganized Victoria's photos. Oh, no. I didn't touch it. It was wrong. That's You don't touch other people's stuff. And don't give me the whiteboard argument. Don't say that, okay? It's whatever. It's whatever. And I actually will confess, I pre when I saw the thing right here that said next, I previously thought, like, okay, we're just going to skip to the next video. Or the, the skip to the ending and everything. And just get back to the main menu. But no. No, I would never do that. I would never reorganize or move anybody's stuff. Or even take anybody's stuff. If, if it was in their room. It's wrong. It's not, fa it's not right. And it's something you should stay out of. Okay, um, you wrote on a dirty RV. You didn't write on a dirty RV. Why would you do that? I did, was that an option? I would never do that, first off. I don't think I should. Uh, I mean, if the guy or the person who drives the RV gives you, if the guy or girl gives you permission to write on it, then yeah, I would have wrote on it. Like, hey, want to write something funny on my window? No, it's dirty. Go ahead. Do it. I'll be like, okay. There. How's that look? Not bad. Looks pretty good. Thank you, buddy. That's what I would have done. But I didn't even know you could write on that. Sorry. Um, you saved the bird. You let the bird die. Oh, I couldn't let the bird die. <laughs> oh, it's whatever. Minority. I'm glad I saved the bird. Let it live. If it dies, it dies. But, you know, if, if you have a chance to save it, let then save it. So why not? You broke Chloe Snuggle. Yeah, 90%. Yeah, that was too easy. Save it if you can. Why not? Yeah, so why not? 
You left us while searching through David's stuff. You didn't leave evidence. Yeah, you don't want to leave evidence if you're investigating stuff. You got to be like the criminal mastermind or the or the the sloth the big detective guy. Like you will never leave evidence behind. You got to make sure you do things clean and careful, or else somebody knows you've been messing with their stuff. So that was an easy choice. You read David's files. You didn't read David's file. Ah! I should have read those files then. Next time, folks. Next time. But apparently, from what we see, it looks like... And that is Kate, obviously, but it looks like there's something going on between the two. We're going to find out that. I will... Let me know if you want me to do a what if on the scenario, and I will go to each scenario, like the ones I'm curious about. The two things I'm curious about are probably these. If you said you didn't sign the petition, you did touch, no, not the pregnancy, but you did reorganize Victoria's photos, you did let the bird die, no, I knocked out. What happened? These are my curious ones before we get to the last one. My curious ones are if you didn't sign the petition, uh, you I wouldn't say mess with the evidence. Um, probably it, it's just those two, the second and the last one, which is you sign, you didn't sign a petition or you read David's file. I'm curious. I should have read David's files. Damn it! Next time, folks, let me at, let me know in the comments. Should I go back like as a what if scenario? I have a second saved one just for in case. But yeah, it looks like there's something going on between Kate and him, and David. So we'll find out, folks. So that's it. Let's get back to the other clip. Alright guys, I fixed it. I got it. I checked the Fraps video and I was like, Yes, I got it. Yes, I'm going to work with it. I, I mean, I will edit everything, of course. But, yes, I got it. So let's get to this. And for the record, guys, I just love, I love all these characters. Like, and the music sells each scene. It's like, wow. This, these, I mean, these guys know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They're not stupid. They are, they've like done their homework, are you like, okay, let's see what fans want, yes, they like this, they like that, they like this, they hate this, and they want to us to avoid that, let's give up, we, they liked what they did in Walking Dead 2, but they didn't, well, Walking Dead 1, but they didn't like Walking Dead 2, so maybe we should try and do something about that, make good story from Walking Dead Season 2, and, but good mat gameplay in Season 1. Great job, guys. Game developers and game creators, great job, if you're watching this, absolutely this is what we gamers want. We want choice. We want movement. We want options to like, you know what? I'm just going to look around and just do whatever the hell I want until I have to follow the main story again. Great job. All right, so let's get to this. Oh, right. Actually, let's do this together, folks. Oh, I'm already online. So we get to check later. Anyways. All right. So Chrysalis. I love this episode. I hope episode two is good. And yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. I don't know who Mr. Bonk guy is. And I don't know what mo the mom's personality is like. So... Uh, Chloe's mom's personality is like so we'll find out that maybe in episode two Number number my choice was you reported Nathan 68% Now in my defense guys, and I'm gonna tell you the truth The reason why I chose this is because as a future teacher for any high school that I find or want to educate high schoolers and everything as a future teacher this hits me the most because I do not support or condone kids bringing guns to schools and possibly causing harm to other students or teachers or security staff. I just don't like that. It's always going to end bad. And why would you bring a gun anyways? Eh, I'm losing my voice a bit. I went partying out last Thursday. It was fun. Uh, this, uh, I partied um, on, the, on February 5th. It was, it was fun. I may have lost some of my voice, if you can tell. But that's okay. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I. It just hit me the most, and I think the teacher, the principal guy, was already catching on that we were hiding something. So it wouldn't really have made the difference if we tried to hide the truth. I think it was the best decision. Yeah, and you got Nathan in trouble, and it was worth it! Okay, so let's see. Oh, the Chloe revenge. Hmm. Well, you and... <laughs> for the 23%, I have no hate towards you guys. I would have done the same thing and would have gotten away with it, but then I would have been humiliated on the internet, but... That's just me. Oh well. Uh, I comforted Victoria. It was worth it. I mean, the vengeance part was worth it. Don't get me on. I was like, woo! Vengeance! I feel so happy. Revenge against you, you son of a bitch. Oh, but then I, I saw how sad she was. She was like, mm, mm, mm. I was like, 
I'm, I'm too good of a... I'm, I'm too nice, and I'm a Mr. Goody Goody Two Shoes, so I had to be nice to her. It was the right thing, and then you saw it, it was the right thing. She didn't post the video, so she kept true to her word. So she's not a true big bitch at all. So she is just... She just doesn't like me, I, I'm guessing. Maybe. Uh, did you step in? I'm guessing... I, they don't say, like, the titles. Like, did you tell the principal... What did you do with Vic How did you handle Victoria? Or did you step in? Or did you help Chloe? I guess they don't want to give us titles. That's something they should work on. Like like what Walking Dead was. Like truth, selflessness, greed, ambition, desire, and passion, and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know what they could come up with. 15% uh, took a photo of David harassing Kate. Well, I don't support that, but if you like a older man adult uh, harassing a younger kid and you use it against the guy then go for it i mean that's your opinion you're entitled you're entitled to it but i'm staying away from that i stepped in because i felt sorry for kate if you actually looked around you did you did your research like you picked up the notes you you followed her you checked out her uh whiteboard you looked around and how other people were making fun of her you just had to feel sorry for the girl. She's just too nice. And she, you really see she's sad and depressed inside. And at the ending, you could really see that. That's very clear. And I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Ugh. So I had to step in. Kate, you have my heart. I love you. But maybe we'll find out more about the so-called porn video or twerk for Jesus kind of thing. Seriously, we might actually find out more about that in episode 2, 3, or 4. I'm hoping it'll be episode 2 because... Maybe we could learn more about Kate, because everyone, all these girls, and because we all know it's the girls, think it, it are so convinced she did a porn video or she did something naughty, even though she's supposed to be like this holy, up righteous girl. Um, we might actually find out more about that, and I'm curious if she did. I mean, it's not gonna change my opinion of her. I'll still love her, but I mean, I'll, it's just like it'll be a bat. She just should have been happy for who she, what she did well, what she did but for who she is and knows what she what she will be forever like she's a good person and that will not change her sorry i just i had to get into the kate debate uh, chloe now did you really i lost by one percent oh no i thought i was the people's choice but it's a close poll when you look at it very carefully guys Sorry, like I said, I'm losing my voice a bit. Um, <clears throat> I I thought it was the right decision. I took came out of hiding to intervene. I'm not gonna let the stepdad, who apparently is the security guard, if you actually pay attention very carefully on the faces and the mustache, uh, it's him. It's the same guy, David or something like Dave. For re for for reasons I don't know. I had to interview because I thought it was the best thing to do. I don't care. I'm not going to let her get beaten up and yelled at and take the blame and fall for everything. She, she, she I'm her friend. I got to support her. And she'll support me and look out for me because she needs a friend right here. She, she's lost her best friend, Rachel, even though I was her former best friend. But it doesn't mean a lot. I mean, you still can look out for her. You could still be a good friend and reignite that best friendship. Yeah, that, that, that's just my argument. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. All right, so let's let's check friend status. I'm guessing I'm the only one who's played this so far, so... Woohoo! A hundred percent! Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. Um, hmm. So I intervened, so that's zero percent. I won every argument except for apparently all my friends say you stay hidden. You stayed hidden. Well, forget you guys. Forget you guys. I don't care about you. Nobody loves you anyways. No. <laughs> we love you guys. Alright, so let's get out of this. Okay. Oh, oh my god! Oh, continue your story with episode 2. Out of time. Coming March. No! No, don't make me wait a month. No. Oh. No! No! You do this to me. Alright, so let's try and piece these things together with the pictures. Okay, so let's see. We're obviously going to a junkyard. The train bus station, uh, bus truck right there is obviously, the school bus is obviously out of service or is no longer functional. So uh, we may, we may learn something there. 
Uh, we're obviously playing on the train tracks, which that's where the teaser came in. That was insane! The teaser. I'm like, what the fuck? Holy shit! That's insane and crazy, guys. I don't know what to say to that. Okay, I may get copyrighted, but you know, it's. I'll, I'll fight that for, it, for reasons unknown. Alright. And we're gonna go to Whale's Dino, where I believe that's where Chloe's mom is, so we'll learn more about her. This is gonna be exciting. I'm gonna love this, folks. Alright, so here it is. Out of time, chaos. Th we'll take a look at these pictures. We'll try and. We'll try and depict each. We'll try and, like. How do I say this? We'll try and interpret and make a theory and prediction of what's gonna happen. Okay, guys, so here we go. We already did number two, so let's do chaos theory. Okay, so... Hmm. It, yeah, just remember, guys, this is theories and predictions. So, if it changes, that doesn't mean anything. Or if I got it on the... If I hit the nail on the den, you could give me some credit and uh, let people know about my channel then. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, we're obviously going into the school at nighttime. We're, like, we're breaking into the school or sneaking into the school. But we're trying to find something, and I'm going to predict that we're going to try and find Rachel's locker or learn more about Rachel's locker uh, or even Rachel's records and see what may have triggered her disappearance. Okay, there's the uh, trailer, so we're going to go... I'm going to call him this. Bear with me on this. I believe that we're going to be talking to Mr. Bong guy or Mr. RV guy, so... We may we may learn something about him, so that will be interesting. And then we go back to, so my theory and prediction is he's gonna know something about the disappearance of Rachel, Amber, and we're gonna find we're gonna try it, and he's gonna try and help us too, because he was probably one of the last people to have seen her. For the house, we're gonna go back to Chloe's house or Dave's house, the security guy's uh, house. We're gonna. Try and rebuild and investigate things, and then the angry dad's gonna get back. The security Dave guy is gonna get mad at us and throw us out and probably try and kill us or, or throw cops at us. Soon. You never know. So that decision could have really been uh, altered in any way. Okay, so here we go. Dark room. We're obviously gonna go to the beach and we're gonna learn some things there. And I'm thinking. We're gonna learn. This is where one of her, my prediction is. This is this is one of the last locations or areas that Rachel was at, and we're gonna find out what happened to her. Or we're gonna get more clues about her. The gun is gonna be Nathan, the guy who tried who shot um, Chloe, and then we reverse time and saved her. And the stuck-up, spoiled rich kid. Obviously, he's stuck up and spoiled and arrogant for it. He thinks just money is power, and money can control everything. Now that is half true. Money does have power. But it doesn't grant you power, or if you try to just if you don't have true friendship right here, if you just think you you own everything and you can do whatever you want, you're not really you're not really a strong person. You're just a weak coward who thinks you everything. And I always tell people this. I say, what hap? If you you may think you're rich, you may think you're powerful, powerful. But what happens when the money runs out? When the money runs out, you're not powerful. You have no friends. You're alone, and you're gonna probably hate yourself forever. Okay, so the last picture. I think this is the picture where we find- I'm gonna predict this part, and maybe true, I'm predicting that that's Rachel's Amber's laptop, and we're gonna learn her last messages, and what- what- and like, let's say her, like, jur her internet or computer diary, and we're gonna learn what she did or where she went. And then the last one, obviously, we saw this, and I was freaking out, I was like, oh my god! Oh! It's Rachel's binder! We're gonna learn about- we're gonna find the binder, or we're gonna learn some things, or we're gonna find Rachel where she is. And we're gonna finally, like, conclude it. The picture right there is obviously just the conclusion of the story. Like, with Max, with the picture she took and she was gonna present, I was like, uh-uh, I ain't presenting this. Not gonna do it. She, that's gonna be there. And she's it's gonna be a tying everything to the end. Like, who are you gonna save? Who are you gonna help? And who's really close and likes you? And then, obviously... You escape the town, and the tornado destroys everything and the people you left behind. Possibly, that's my prediction. All right, so that's it, folks. Um, now I am starting this. If you have a game you want me to play, and you want or you recommend, leave a comment below in the script in the comment box. I will read every single one of your comments. But please don't give me a game that's like poorly rated. If it, if it, the game is rated like. 
mixed reviews like okay it's up and down or it's reviewed positive or overwhelmingly positive then you're gonna be like I'm gonna be like you know you caught my attention okay I'll take a look at this game and make it games only on the computer I'm still working with the twitch on my Xbox one I'm trying to get that to work just give me time on that. Give me, it'll probably take about like two months, and I'll probably get it right. Um, number two, I'm, I'm going to announce this, so for any uh, future people who get tired of this microphone right here, yeah, I, I get tired of it once in a while. I am actually looking into a new microphone. It's going to be... It's gonna be like sitting on its own. It's like what the professionals use. Like some people use Blue Yeti, but mine, I'm gonna use something else and I'll announce it in a future video. So I am gonna get that. I am gonna get every all the material and gear and, and everything required. So no more of this in like maybe three months, two or two and a half months. You'll see. Lastly, all right, what's last? And lastly, um, if you like this vid if you like this whole walkthrough and you want to see more of my videos Leave a like on the videos that if you like the whole thing and also subscribe to my channel Because it really means a lot to show that you guys approve of what I'm doing and you want to see more of what I do So that's it for now guys. I hope you like what you saw it and I always say stay you stay cool and stay awesome Bye bye they got weapons, buddy. Run! There you go! Good! The red one. Oh my god! Oh my god! I want a present now! Give me a present now, mama. I'm a spoiled brat. Give me a baby, buddy. Can I have one more bag of cake at least? I want to know what's in the present now.